clueless flip-flop from Adidas and force agile and appropriate ad swap. I'm Jeff Beer, and this is Fast Company's brand hit miss of the week. First up, the miss. After days of announcements from brands like Nike, Apple, Patagonia, Under Armour, and more that they'd be closing stores around the country in response to COVID-19 and the social distancing required to flatten the curve, as they say, Adidas took a different approach. On Monday, CEO Casper Rorsted sent an email to Adidas retail employees. Quote, we have to keep the company going and open for business to ensure that we can pay our monthly bills and salaries to everyone. Closing down is easy. Staying open in a healthy environment requires courage, persistence, and focus. No, what's easy is making declarations that make your frontline employees vulnerable, while also implicitly encouraging customers to leave their house, risk infection to buy more sneakers? The hard choice is actually closing down and ensuring those employees who can't work from home are paid and healthy. As bad Adidas decisions go, this ranks up there with those sneaker cowboy boots they came out with a couple years ago. It's fair to say Rorstead's decision did not go over well because Adidas reversed its stand less than 24 hours later. In a statement it said, to our athletes, teammates, and friends across the world, your health is what matters most. In support of the worldwide effort to keep our community safe, we have decided to close stores in select countries through March 29th. It ends with, this is a tough time. Let's look after each other, our families, and our communities. Oh yes, thank you Adidas. Now I believe you. This week's hit belongs to Ford. We're in the midst of a health crisis, and with it comes serious economic consequences. People aren't buying as much stuff. People are getting laid off. And despite government assurances, the anxiety associated with closed businesses and lost wages is very real and affecting millions of people. This is not the time for a peppy car ad. Ford already had ongoing ad campaigns ready for March Madness TV extravaganza. Once that was canceled, plans had to change. Late last week, the brand worked quickly with its agency Wyden & Kennedy to make two new ads. Look, marketers are always talking about making work that resonates with people and becomes a part of culture. But in order to do that, a brand must know its place and culture to begin with. Here, Ford shows it knows that cars are one of the biggest, most significant costs in people's lives. And here, it chooses to do something about it. it reminds me of Hyundai's 2009 Super Bowl ad. Back then, instead of some celebrity-filled fun fest, the brand acknowledged the 2008 economic downturn. It told prospective new customers that if they lost their job within a year of getting a new car, they could return it with no impact on their credit. The move went a long way to boost Hyundai's brand in the United States. This week, Ford saw an opportunity to make a difference in its customers' lives, illustrating the gulf between true brand work and empty advertising. That's it for this week. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you next time.